any conversation you had with Tony, what, what he wants to do now? You know, I mean, this guy was ready for a fight. Any, any discussion that you had with Khabib? We haven't. Khabib? I mean, the thing is, is that, you know, he was devastated, you know, when he, he came over to our offices and, you know, he, he, he was as bad as anybody I've ever seen when a fight pulls out. Um, so I'm just giving him some time to, you know, and we'll see. I, I honestly, to be honest with you, you know, Khabib fought in, uh, in New York in November. And then here in this fight, two back-to-back, -back, you know, weight cuts like that. I don't know if he can make the weight or if he needs to get a, uh, you know, a better plan, dietitian, something. I don't know. But, you know, he, was, he got within six pounds and, and was in really rough shape. So, you know, he's going to take, he's going to have to take some time to recover from, from this weight cut. And then I, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Last question, uh, you're just trying to get some clarity on, on something about Ferguson. In the past, you know, when guys have had opponents pull out at the last minute, it wasn't their fault. They've received their show money, but this one's unique, obviously, with, with the title on the line and a co-main event. Is there anything you can tell us? Yeah, we've never done that. So, so, so no show money was paid? No, you know, he got paid. He, okay. did, he did get paid, but he, he, yeah, he did. When you said if uh, if Habib would have called you or, or Ali or whoever it was, if they would have called you, can you clarify what you meant and what could you have possibly done? Yeah, so what would have been different was if he would have called Dr. Davidson or Brianna, the, the two who handle all the medical stuff for the UFC, they would have brought him right to the hospital. Apparently he was treated horribly at Sunrise Hospital. Um, shocker here in Vegas. I mean, that's, that's no shock. But... You know, he, he, sh he should have gone to Valley Hospital. He, he, he should have been with Doc D. Doc D would have got him right in. They would have checked his vitals. They would have, you know, seen where he was. But when you walk into just some random hospital here in Las Vegas and they see the guy and they tell him he's waiting cut, they just start filling him full of fluids. I mean, that's immediately what they do. They bring you in, they stick in the IV and start, you know, Doc D would have took him in, checked his vitals, see, seen where he was. I'm not saying that the fight could have been saved, but maybe it could have. We've been in these positions before. This isn't our first rodeo, you know, so. And did he have any, you know, I know he had a bad weight cut, but was there anything like, did they say a kidney failure or what specifically did they say other than? No, well, he, he went in and he, I, I guess his, you know, he was having pains either where your kidneys are or your liver or something. I, I don't know the exact specifics, but he was having pains. And, and I'm sure you guys saw the picture. I mean, he looked terrible. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, don't, I don't think there was any real damage done to it. You know, when I say damage, I mean long term. I'm sure he's, you know, it's going to take him a little while to recover from this weight cut. But, uh, um, yeah, it's just he would have been handled a lot better if he had, had he called Brianna or Dr. Davidson, you know, because uh, Ali told me that their, their, their experience at Sunrise was horrible.